Hey folks, welcome to this video on how to index and match multiple criteria in Google Sheets. In this example, I'm using a drop down chip to find certain models of phones and then the colors that they relate to. And what we get is a single result at the end. So in this particular case, here's the result that the formula found. So let's dive in and take a look at how that works. Okay, if you didn't see my previous videos on the VLOOKUP and the index and match functions in Google Sheets, go check those out. I'll post the card up above and, in, and the links in the description box below. That will be really helpful to get you to this stage. What we've got here is dependent dropdowns as well. And, and there's a video that I've got on that on how to create dependent dropdowns. So that's a really good one to watch as well. These dropdowns are all coming from this filters tab down here where I've got this table of brands, models and colors. And then I create these filtered lists based upon this table. So go check out my dependent dropdown video. I'll post the card up above and the link will be in the description box below. Okay, back to this sheet. In this case, you know, we're selecting something from the brand here. And what happens is these do get cleared out when this is changed. And when we choose something from a model here, this will get changed as well. So for example, if I change this now, this will get cleared out. And I'm using a bit of app script for that. Another video, I'll post the links down below for that. But basically what we want to do in a case like this is we want to use an index and match function to match these three pieces of criteria here to go have a look in this table and return a single value from, in our, in our case, the quantity column here. So let's dive in and see how we do that. So if we do an equals index to start off with, what we want to do is we want to index this column here. So let's select that and we'll just drop that seven to make it open-ended. And as before, looking at the index and match function, we're going to use the match now with a slight adaption. So we're going to put match. Now what we want to do is concatenate these values together. And so we're going to look at these collectively and find them concatenated within this table as well as an array. Sounds complicated, but it's really not that bad. So what we do is we select the first lookup we want. We use the ampersand and we join that to the second and another ampersand, and then we choose the third option there. So essentially what's happening here, if we highlight that, that's what the result looks like. So this is what is going to go and find in this table down below here. Now, of course, this table down below doesn't have that right now, but we're going to create it in the second part of this match. So let's put a, a comma. And now we need to put in here where we're going to find this match. Effectively, this is just one answer this is one piece of information here it's not three although we've joined three pieces together it is just one result now we're going to look in this column here and we'll drop the eight to make it open-ended and again we use the ampersand and we join that to this one we'll drop that one and join that to the last color option as well and we'll drop that nine there now what we need to do is put the zero at the end to make it an exact match because we don't want something that's close to it, we want exactly the, the right answer now. And when we hit enter now, the great thing about this formula is that you don't need to create an array. If you use Excel, then you will need to create an array formula to make this work. But in Google Sheets, it's, it's just not required. So when we hit enter, we're given the result here. So if we look down for the Samsung Galaxy S2 in Phantom Black, you can see that that's 592, and that's what we've got here. And as I say, you know, you can change these these get cleared out with a bit of app script. We can choose another product and the color, and that will find that row in the table below. A really powerful index and match function using multiple criteria. I hope you found that useful, guys. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like this. Thanks for watching, folks.